Hi everyone, welcome back to PS Developers. In this video, I'm going to show you how to make a guessing tool. So first, you create your own project. And then select the C-Sharp console app with the framework template. So I'm going to rename this as guessing tool. So here's how it's going to work. We are going to take a variable called the secret word. And if what the user types is equal to the secret word, then the user wins. Otherwise, we'll just start to do it again. So the first step is to create two variables called the string secret word and the guess. And both of them have, are going to have to be the string type. So string secret word. Now I'm going to give it a value. So I'm going to type in home. But you can type whatever you want. And now we're going to type in the second variable, which is the guess. But we aren't going to give it any um, value this time yet. So in C sharp, whenever we want to do something repeatedly, until a certain condition is broken, we use a while loop. So, while. And that's going to be when the secret word isn't equal to the guess. We'll execute this code this part of the code which I'm now going to write so I'm going to tell the user to keep guessing Now we are going to take whatever the user typed in and store it into this guess variable. And we are going to do that by typing guess equals console.readline. Then console dot first line. So the purpose of this exclamation mark is to convert the string into a boolean and that boolean is going to be equal to false so this means when the secret word is not equal to the guess it will execute this code that means the user has to guess again but if the secret word is equal to the um, if the user kisses the secret word it will execute this code so as you can see, this is a very, very easy project with about five or, five or six lines of code. But there's a little problem. The user has unlimited guesses. So we had to uh, provide a guess limit to this project. So we are going to enter two new variables in this called the guess count and the guess limit. So int guess count and we are going to assign its value as 0 and now we are going to input the second uh, variable called the guess limit
and we are going to uh, assign the value as 3 so the guess limit will limit the user to only 3 uh, guesses and the guess count will keep track of the uh, number of guesses the user uses now we are going to introduce another variable and it's going to be a boolean so boo out of cases and we are going to set it as false so this line of code will tell us if the user is out of cases so i'm going to put a if statement inside inside this while statement so if the condition and two categories so if if the guess count is smaller than the guess limit we will execute this code so guess count smaller than the guess limit we will print out this code So, so if the guess count is smaller than the guess limit we will ask the user to keep guessing and this line of code will just say to ex ex execute the guess count but now we have to see if the guess count is equal to the guess limit so that means they have run out of guesses so we are going to create an else statement out of cases is equal to true so this means so when when the user is not out of cases that means they have about two or three cases left it will ask them to guess again else if they are if they are out of cases that means they are out of cases they don't have any more left so if they are out of cases that means they lose and we have to print that out to the console so we have to put another if statement And if they aren't out of cases, that means they lose. Sorry, if they are out of cases, they lose. And they, if they aren't, they win. So you lose. And then else. Else, they win. So I'm going to explain this a little bit. So this out of guesses variable is now equals to true. That means they are out of guesses. So if the out of guesses is true, that means they lose. So we had to point out that they lose. Else, that means if they aren't out of guesses, they win. So they have, we have to print out you win. And this has to be a console dot read line. And there's another thing. 
So if the guess count is lesser than the guess limit, it will uh, execute this code. That means keep guessing. But that's a problem. So we have to add something here. And that's going to be an end out of guesses. So this means when the guess count is lesser than the guess limit and when out of guesses is false, that means they have not run out, not run out of guesses, it will ask them to keep guessing. Uh, sorry, this has to come into the while statement. So, so you probably know this. So with the secret word is not equal to the guess and this we are not out of guesses and the user is not out of guesses. It will execute this code. Also, there's going to be another thing. We need an exclamation mark to uh, point out that uh, it is not out of guesses. So now I'm going to run the application. So the place you live in, keep guessing. So I'm going to type some random letters. Keep guessing. Keep guessing. You lose because I already had my three guesses. Now I'm going to start again. This time I'm going to uh, give up two guesses and the third guess I'm going to type in the secret word. Keep guessing. You win. So this is it for this video. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe and I'll see you next time.